Hey everybody, today I'm back with another app review for the iPod. Right, so today I'm going to be trying and getting done two applications at once. Hopefully it'll work out well. Okay, and you'll probably see me making more videos this week because I have off school and I have a lot of extra time on my hands. Okay, so the first app is going to be Tetris, which is a $4.99 app. If you're a fan of Tetris and you really like to play it, I'd recommend uh, buying this app. It's quite fun, but if you don't really like Tetris, I would not recommend buying it. Now, if they had a free version of this, and you don't really like Tetris, I would go for it. This game has nice graphics and all. Okay, so you have Marathon, Magic, More Games, Statistics, Options, and Help. And About. Okay, so... <clears throat> so, whenever you... There's... Marathon is... You can select the level. You have 15 levels here. So you can go into play. Now, I will, if you're new to it, recommend going for the torture roll. But today I'm going to skip that and just show you the gameplay. So the simple gameplay is it'll count down and all. And you. Slide everything over with your finger, and for a quick drop, you flick down. To rotate it, you tap on the side of the screen. Alright. And... So, it's your basic game of Tetris. Now, of course, like usual, the higher levels you go, the harder it gets. But the nice thing is, you can just skip to it. Say you want to do a certain level, you can just skip directly to that level and play it. That's the nice thing about this app. Crap. And so... Also... Uh... So yeah, that's pretty much the app. If I'm remembering magic is you just play random levels of Tetris. Sort of like the regular game. And so that is Tetris, everybody. Okay. So for my next app... Um, what should I do? Sorry to keep you guys waiting here. I will do Super Monkey Ball 2. This has been out in the App Store for a while. Uh, wherever I bought it, it was uh, $7.99 I think it was. They might have lowered the price to five ninety nine, but if you look up here in the right hand corner, you'll see the price coming up here. Okay. Well, you'll see it back in the video. So, okay. So you have at the main menu you have touch screen to start like usual. You have main game quick play. Mini games, options, and more games. And view replays. Okay, so the main game is your usual levels of Super Monkey Ball. Quick play is it'll select a level for you. And mini games, which is my favorite, uh, which I will probably show today, they have Monkey Bowling. Golf and the one game where you have to fly and land on a platform. Those will be coming soon, as you can see down here. But, alright, so I'll show you bowling for now. 
They have single player, multiplayer, and instructions. So I'll go into single player. Now you can choose your character. I'll do AJ or whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. All of you Super Monkey Ball fanatics. So you line up by sliding your finger across and you flick it to make them go down the lane. <coughs> so like, for instance, say I just got split. So I'll line myself up and I'll flick it again. Tilt it to uh, direct the monkey. And uh, most of the time he'll just show a sad face. And, you know what? While I have the time, I'll show you guys. Uh, quick play. And hey, sorry about that annoying blue flashing light up in the right here. That's my camera. Uh, so, quick play is you open it up. And if you notice, it takes you to a random level. Okay, so for the controls for this, you tilt forward to go forward. Crap, how did I get baby? And so you keep on going through the level and you want to collect the bananas just like in uh, regular versions like on the GameCube or whatever whatever systems that they have us for. Uh, so I'll do a I'll just skip all these bananas. And if you get ten bananas by the end of the level, uh, you get a one up. So let me speed this up. I have only ten seconds, and I lost. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much Super Monkey Ball Two. That's again five ninety nine or seven ninety nine. I'll have to check the price again. It will be up here in the corner or there. Not sure yet. And the other app was Tetris four ninety nine. Alright, so that's it for this video. Again you'll be seeing more app review videos from me this week. And if you have again any good apps that I should do a review on Try and stick with free apps, not too much pricey ones, because I don't really have much money on my iTunes. So, yeah, I'll see you. Maybe I might be doing one Wednesday or Tuesday. Maybe once every day. I don't know. And tell me if I should keep it at two app reviews or stick with one app review. I don't know. But, alright, see you guys.